Hi guys, this is Vinod Kumar. Hope you all are doing good. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to create an Azure function in which we can write a PowerShell script. So let's get started. So for that, you need to have an active subscription and you need to have an active, I mean, you need to create a resource group inside the subscription. Then yeah, I have this resource group, which is learn and i find with a some gyd let me create the function app for that you can just go to add then search for function app here you can see it actually then in the next screen you need to select the subscription gyd the resource group and you need to provide the uh, name for the function app so as the screen is loading Yeah, so in the screen, you need to select the resource group. Then you need to give the function app name. I'm just giving it as test POC, which is not available. Test POC PowerShell. Even this is not. So I've given the name called uh, test PowerShell POC. Then in the runtime environment, I'm selecting PowerShell core. It is using the latest version 7.1. Then the region is central US. Uh, in the hosting environment, I'm taking it as a consumption plan. I don't need monitoring for this. So it's in no state. If you want to add any tags, you can add it or else you can just really on create it. So it start to it start validating the resource. Like if you have any Azure policies in place, then uh, which might stop your uh, creation. So I don't have any such kind of policy. So the validation has been completed. Now I can just hit on create to create the function app. So you can see the initialization deployment process. Uh, the deployment process started inside the resource group. Uh, which we have selected earlier and this is the screen that you will see uh, the deployment once this is completed you will see message called uh, the deployment has been completed and you will see a button where it will direct us to the uh, function app so while creating this deployment uh, it creates a uh, app service plan, which is the consumption plan that we have selected. Then a storage account uh, for the function app. It will take one or two minutes to complete. So you can see that uh, the storage account has been created. Now the function app is still under deployment. You can also use visual code to create your PowerShell scripting and deploy it to the function app. Uh, right now I'm going to use the Azure portal itself uh, to get a basic understanding. So once the deployment is complete, you will see the message called your deployment is created and you can see the deployment details here, uh, like the Microsoft.web slash sites is the 
uh, type of resource that we have created and the name is just uh, powershell poc you can hit on that resource link directly or you can just hit here go to resource so this will open my function app which was which is created in central us and it is in running state now you, let's start with creating our first function inside this function app so you have to go to this functions then add again the function can be of uh, can be triggered by using different uh, triggers it can be http it can be a time triggered queue trigger service bus trigger blob trigger so for for the initial start i am just taking this http trigger i just selected this i need to give a name for this if you scroll down you can see the function name so i am giving here powershell func1 and the authentication level you can select one among the function anonymous and admin based on that you need to pass the keys while uh, uh, while using this uh, http trigger call so i am just i selected it to be a function and i hit the create button so this will start creating the function app so sorry function once the function is created you can see a screen something like this and you can just go to code and test here you will see a screen where you can write out all your powershell script it creates basically two files which is run.ps1 and the other file is uh, function.js so inside this run.js uh, run.ps1 you will have your powershell script and this function dot json file has the binding information uh, the input and output uh, bindings for the function and it has the trigger what kind of trigger it is like uh, we have selected the http trigger then what is the type of authentication we have given we have given it as a function so it is showing it as a function now let's go to this uh, run dot ps1 so if you look at the code this is very simple code which is uh, taking a parameter from the http request uh, the parameter is name and it is trying to parse that and it is showing it on the screen so if you see when it is successful you will see a message called hello with the name that we provide and the uh, some message like this http trigger function is executed successfully so to test this you can take the url from here get function url you can copy this to test the api you can use either a postman or fiddler so i am just giving it as a, i'm just using from postman so i selected the request to be a post request i am giving the url here and in the body i am selecting a json format and the parameter that it is taking is a name so i am giving a name and my name is i am giving it as i am in azure so once i send this request you can see the response coming up something like this this hello i am in azure this is state if trigger is successful so this is how you can create a function app by using powershell if you want to test it here as well you have a option called test function here the body that we are passing is azure so when you hit run you will see logs here coming up and you will see the output in the next screen here you see the tab has been changed to output and the message is hello azure this http request has been successfully implemented and you can see all your uh, logs on the screen here so this is how you can create a simple powershell based function app uh, you can extend this by using your own powershell script and you can add it here so that's all i have for today thanks thanks all for uh,